Hello everybody, my name is Mark and I'm sitting in a 2019 Freightliner and um, I'd like to go ahead and show you some stuff I've learned. Um, this is some stuff I wish I would have known uh, in the beginning and uh, I'm still a, a new driver so uh, anything I say please verify with your company trainer or or someone else that uh, can give you a definite answers on any, any issues. Okay, so this is a 2019 Freightliner built in 2018. I'm going to show you some controls and power up, uh, power it up shortly, and show you the dash and all that. So first, um, I want to sh let's go ahead and get some some power here. So I haven't started it; just uh, turning it on to the on position. So um, we've got. Those are the uh, lane departure warnings testing out when you power on. So on the left side, I guess I'll go ahead and start it up here. So let's go ahead and start it up. And as you can see, the oil pressure is coming up to uh, just above 50. Uh, it does that when it's cold. Uh, once it's warmed up, it's going to be below 50. And, uh, and then when you're on the road and idling, or, or um, coasting, it can be all the way down to that first mark, just above the zero. But as soon as you step on the uh, on the accelerator, it's going to speed up. It's going the oil pressure is going to increase. Okay, you see the fuel. So we have the uh, gray line on the fuel is for diesel, and the blue line is for def. Okay, we've got our RPM right here, and um, so that's just uh, idling and warming up. Got temperature here, zero miles per hour. We're in uh, neutral. If I swift, it, if I shift it to drive, I'll put my foot on the brake and turn the uh, turn the shifter. Here it is. So we'll just go to shift, just go to drive, and now you can see it's in one. So I'll shift back to neutral, and now it's there. And of course, you can go to reverse also. And um, okay, we got mileage and of course the speedometer there, uh, analog, and air pressure, it's already been started recently, so air pressure built up a little bit, it'll cut off around 125, and then engine temperature on the bottom right. So, um, we have some displays, so if you look here, um, so I've got to operate the displays, I've got this uh, control right here, and um, you can see here, so I'm gonna go to the left, and then it shows trip miles per gallon. Uh, so at, at the top is a bar, little bar graph that'll be showing where you're driving. It'll be green and show you how many miles per gallon you're getting. If I if I go if I go with the down arrow here, uh, I've got the down arrow. I use the left arrow here, and then I'll go with the down arrow. So then we can show um, the trip one and trip two. So. Um, if you, you can zero out, if you press OK, it's going to, um, it says hold, hold the OK, that'll clear out this one, and um, if you clear out number one, it'll clear both of them, so I, I don't clear that one normally. So as you can see, I've got pretty good miles per gallon, and I'm going to make that a separate video. Um, so I've been able to figure out a technique, uh, especially when I'm in the hills, I've been able to get really good to mileage. So that'll be a separate topic. Okay, so we'll just go right again, and then there's miles per hour. So um, over here on the right side, I really like this um, cruise control feature here. It's just uh, set and uh, minus, and then resume and plus and cancel in the middle. So you don't have to turn cruise control on or anything like that. It's on all the time. So anytime you're ready, just hit set. And if you want to increase the speed, hit the plus, the res resume, and if you want to cancel, right in the middle. So it's really easy to use. And I'm not going to go over all the controls, but of course, when windshield washers and all that, you know, it's pretty basic stuff. And mirror adjustment and so on. So let's look at all the buttons. Um, so as we can see over here, we've got this one that's lit. That's the lane departure warning. So that sound you heard when the truck started up if you start to drift to, to the right side the right speaker will come on if you drift to the left side 
the left one will come on. If you touch this and turn it off, then it'll go, it'll stop making noises for about 15 minutes or so. So you can see it's lighted up, so you can find it when you're driving real easy and um, just hit that button and it goes off. So there's nothing, you, to hit the button, activate the button, it's the top part. So okay, so we'll, we'll leave it off for now. We're not driving, so it's not gonna matter. All right, so um, let's go to the left side. These are just the lights. So if I turn, I'll show you these lights are up here. It's got like three different, <clears throat> three different um, um, lights up there. If we hit the list down, all of them will go off. Okay, and now you can see it's darker in here. <laughs> so um, now I can turn on, if I hit this one, which has a picture of the bed in it, you press it, it's gonna come on. Okay, so it brings on one of the lights and it's gonna go off in a few seconds. This is so you can jump into bed, I guess. You can hit that light and um, see how long it takes. Um, it's gonna go off in a moment here, so you can jump into bed. <laughs> and there's more controls over by the bunk. Over, um, we'll look at the controls over here. Um, right behind, there's more controls right there. So if, you're, if you have your head down here, it's really easy to turn the lights off and on while you're in bed. So, it's gonna make a liar out of me. It hasn't gone off yet. <laughs> I know it does go off sometimes. Um, so anyway, um, it's kind of hard to figure out all the logic. So now, um, if you hit the other one, that turns on one more light, and then this is the... All right. Then we have uh, one more, and that's... Uh, so I usually hit all three switches. I like to have it nice and bright. This one is for your light test. So uh, if you do that, then it's going to activate your um, your light test. It's all the blinkers, high beams, low beams, and you'll see the dash. You see that there's the blinkers coming on, headlights on, high beam on, so on. So we'll just uh, turn that one off. Uh, of course, we got our flashers. And then we have the footwell. That's that light down there. Okay. So let's see if it has, um, okay, it looks like it has, I think it has, um, okay, no, just on and off. Okay, so, um, I thought I knew all the buttons, but um, looks like the semi haven't gone over. So I, don't, I haven't messed with this one, ATC spin. I talked about the lane departure warning, override. This one would be if you have a shutdown. Let me go ahead and turn the truck off. So, um, all right, it's a little quieter. Um, so now, um, if you have a, like a real bad engine problem, let's say low oil pressure, something like that, but you're stopped in the middle of the highway, you could use this to, um, my understanding is you could use this to get off the highway, just over, override all the safety systems. Um, but I was told to only do that if instructed to by uh, emergency breakdown service or the emergency number. And um, so then we have this one over here is a light for outside. If I turn that on, that's to light up for my connections, hooking up to a trailer and I haven't gone over that one either. Hmm. All right. <laughs> well, the ones I have looked at are these. Um, so uh, this this one is to um, sort of like a four-wheel drive, and uh, that will lock the second axle. So like if you're on in a dirt yard or somewhere where the traction's not real good, then um, you can, like, if only one axle is active, then you could spin, and if the ground is uneven, you might be, might be, might get stuck. So, I was told you can turn this on anytime you're moving but not spinning. So, if you're stopped, that's fine. You just hit that and um, press, press, in, and uh, you don't want to activate it, you don't want to hit it while you're spinning, but um, it's okay to do it while you're moving or stopped. And um, you don't want to leave it on all the time because 
uh, one time I had used it in a, in a dirt yard and then I was driving and just didn't seem right. Didn't have, the truck didn't have the same pep as normal. And I finally pulled over and then I saw this is on. I turned it off and uh, I was back to normal again. So this is to release the kingpin. That's only gonna work, of course, if your brakes are set. And this is to slide the fifth wheel. That's a, that's a uh, certain, there's a fairly complicated procedure or a fairly involved procedure. It's not just, you don't just press that uh, and it moves. So, and you gotta use the trailer hold button as a sequence you go through. Okay, so um, uh, of course anybody that gets a CDL should know what the air brakes do. Uh, this is to um, supply air and unlock the uh, trailer brakes. If you push it in, you pull it out, then see it's uh, it's pulled out right now. And uh, I don't have a trailer connected. So, and then this is uh, for the tractor brakes. So just a little tip. Um, this one really buzzes or, or just, it's kind of painful when you pull it out by itself. <laughs> it's painful on my fingers. This one's easier. I pull this one out. If I want both of them out, I pull this one out and it pulls out both of them. Um, and that's more comfortable in the hands. And then um, if I only, a lot of times, if uh, a lot of times I don't need both um, to be locked and so when you when you want to go again, it takes longer to release the trailer brakes. So I find that it's better sometimes. I, I hold this one in and pull this one out, and then I'm I can I'm locked, uh, parked, but um, it's easier to get going again. So all right, <clears throat> so this is where the tablet goes, which is for the GPS and assignments, and over here is. Um, Almost don't look at these gauges here. That's axle temperatures. That's like never been an issue. No, but nobody's ever made a big deal about that. And of course, these are air conditioning controls. So uh, we'll keep this one short. This will be part one on the um, 2019 Freightliner. Uh, it's a pretty good truck. I've been quite happy with it. And um, so uh, maybe I'll make some, some future videos with more details on some of the other points.